for twenty dollars each. If you want to get a portrait, of you, something you can show like your normal friend. Uh, then, uh, those are twenty dollars each. Uh, and we have uh, you are the power spike. Co oh well, we have large Waffle House caucus buttons. Those are ten dollars each. We have. Yes, we have small <laughs> Waffle House Caucus buttons. Those are five dollars each. We have brand new. They just came in yesterday. Spike Cohen, you are the power uh, uh, buttons for five dollars. Oh, and we have Spike Cohen, you are the power bracelets that are also Waffle House slash Libertarian Party slash Ancap color for. <laughs> uh, and those are also five dollars. Or you can get all of them combined. Uh, a $65 value for only $50. All of that, 100% of that goes to the campaign. Uh, I, there's, I'm not a pressure sales person, so if you want them, don't want them, that's fine. But we have any of those things or all of them together for anyone who wants them. And uh, is, is there, once everyone's out, I can do the... Yeah, they're just, uh, they're finishing paying bills right now. <laughs> no problem, yeah, yeah, that's just cool. the vice president. Yes. Can I get you to sign the back of my trench coat? I would be happy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Bill. Bill. Can you put something like uh, Liberty or Luau, Chief Wisely? Yeah, thanks for coming out. Hey, man. Hey. Our, our new congressman right here. Yeah, finally. Hey. Have we haven't met in person yet. We haven't yet. We had our hour call before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's so good to see you. It is very good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for coming down this way. Even yes, though, absolutely. Even yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Well, I went in and I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> and there's like no one in there. We were there. Like, we were there. Like, this okay, boat's so bad for here. ballot access. <laughs> I voted the wrong one. And I, 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 I walk in and I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that there was no one in there. And so I go in and I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> and the... The, uh, Did they say to go? We're libertarians. We're used to this. Yeah, yeah. No, so Did they I say for here to go. <laughs> That's how it works. Well, no, and they asked. They were like, "Welcome to Waffle House," and I'm like, "I'm starting to suspect something's wrong here." <laughs> <laughs> so I went out and called Chrissy, and sure enough, we uh, we had this. Yes, we, we heard uh, the the 22nd version. Chrissy gave us a call. Of the call. The 22nd. Version. The 22nd version with lots of F. Yeah, it was a, it was it was fun. But folks, I really appreciate everyone coming out. Uh, this is thank you so much. Are you gonna are you gonna do the? the <laughs> Declan and I would like to thank you for coming to, the, uh, to this uh, Waffle House Whistle Stop tour. And um, I move my hands a lot. I don't want to mess it up. So. Folks, this is going to be a lot of fun today. I don't know, I'm sure, I don't know if a couple of you are going to be following me through the different Waffle Houses, but uh, whether you are or not, this is going to be a lot of fun today. But it's also very serious, and we got reminded of why it's serious yesterday. Uh, the ATF issued a, a clarification on a, on a ruling that essentially bans all long-barreled pistols as being uh, in the in the ATF world, an AOW or any other weapon, meaning that it's either banned or that you have to pay a tax stamp. From uh, my cold, of, dead hands. What's that? From my cold, dead hands. Right. And the problem is they're being intentionally vague as always. And usually the way that they deal with these uh, with these, this vagueness is they put it on you. The same way that the IRS tells you that they know how much you owe them, but you have to guess and figure it out first. Uh, they do the same thing with guns. When there's any kind of vagueness on it, they make you mail the gun in. If there's any reason to think that, yeah, if there's any reason to think that your gun might not be allowed anymore, 
even retroactively, you have to mail it in and wait up to a year to find out if you're ever getting it back. And if you are getting it back, whether or not you'll have to pay thousands of dollars in tax stamps before they let you have it back. And if they decide not to give it back to you, then you're not getting it back. And if you don't mail it in, you're automatically a federal felon, even if there's a potential that you didn't, that your gun isn't banned. Can this is a, a perfect. Of silence for all of the voting Yes, no, our lakes, rivers, and streams are 20% H2O and 80% AR-15. <laughs> I have a small lake in my backyard if anybody needs a convenient voting access. Yeah. If, if Why did you grab the water here? Yeah. That's a campaign yeah. event. Yeah. We're going and, boating. And this is, a, this is a perfect example of what the federal government presumes the authority to do to us, not just with guns, but in every aspect of our lives. They believe that they have the ability to arbitrarily issue edicts that we all have to comply with retroactively uh, and if we don't we're federal felons and we're in the wrong and they can do whatever they want to us and we see every day what happens when people don't comply or have the, the appearance of not complying or complied in a way that the officer didn't like this is what tyranny looks like it happens every single day. It happens at the local level, it happens at the state level, and of course it happens at the federal level. More often than not, the tyranny that we face on a regular basis is at the local level. This is why it's not just important to vote for me and Joe, it's important to vote for libertarians for Congress. It's important to vote for people like Kevin. It's important to vote for people who are running up and down the ballot in Ohio and every other state in this country because this isn't something that's going to be fixed by one libertarian getting into office. This isn't going to be fixed by getting a couple of libertarians into Congress. It's gonna be fixed by getting libertarians in every lever of power and government in this country, preferably to be able to take it over and give the power back to you, but if nothing else, to be there at every single, every single level, just to be that monkey wrench to make it that much harder for them to do what they need to do and to be that persistent voice for maximizing human liberty. That is why we are libertarian. Who here is ready to take the power back? <laughs> Who wants to end this crony system that robs us of trillions of dollars a year to hand off to billionaire cronies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we are running. This system, every single thing that we experience every day coming from this government, this is why we are running. This is why Kevin is running. This is why libertarians are running up and down the ballot because we recognize that the people do best when they are the most free. We know that people do best when they aren't being robbed of their power and their freedom and their money, when all of the barriers and burdens that have been put in place make it harder for them to thrive or remove. We know that government and politicians could never possibly know what you need in your life as well as you do. And we know that the only way that we're going to get this is to kick out the people who created the best for it. We know that this is far too important to vote for the people that created this mess that we're in. That's why we're here. That's why we're voting for Joe Jorgensen. That is why we are libertarians. And I invite you to join us, not just by voting for us, not just by voting for Kevin, but by getting as involved as you can, by joining the Libertarian Party, by joining the LP of Ohio, by helping with local campaigns, by helping with our campaign, doing everything that you can to spread the message of human liberty in our time. I'm certain that many of you are already doing this, and I invite the rest of you to help us as much as you can, because this isn't just about getting our freedoms back. This isn't just about stopping Republicans and Democrats from continuing to take more and more from us in every aspect of our lives. This is about taking it back. This is about things being better. We've gotten so used to this status quo that every year we gotta look at what are the new laws that I have to obey? How much more are my taxes gonna be? How much more has the cost of living spiraled out of control? How much more debt am I gonna have to run up just to be able to make ends meet? We don't have to live this way. We don't have to watch things get worse. We can work together and bring people into this to actually make things better. So that every day, every week, every month, every year we're talking about what laws we've repealed what taxes we've gotten rid of, what mandates and regulations and red tape we completely abolished, how we've reduced the cost of things, how we've reduced the bureaucracy, how we've kicked the cronies out of positions of power. This is what we can do, 
and it takes us working together every single day to help people that are running for office in this country, sharing the message of liberty, and I am grateful to all of you for being here in that fight. Now let's go win this thing. Yeah. 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 You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. So the Cassandra Fryman is actually an Ohioan who came aboard uh, in Gary Johnson's campaign. Yep. For those of you who don't know, she is a mayor in Plymouth, Ohio. So up closer to the lake than we are. And she has not only decriminalized marijuana in her city, but she just forgave speeding tickets for everybody. Because <laughs> in a pandemic, most of these people don't have jobs. Exactly. She evaluated each of those cases and wiped it. That's a perfect example yep. of one person in one position in a local office who was able to do those types of things. So be nice to whoever you meet online because I was one of her first contacts from Gary Johnson and if I had been an edge lord, those people wouldn't be more free to that. Yes, let's reach people where they are. <laughs> Just want to throw okay. that out there. Let's, since we're having this conversation, thank you for bringing that up, Michelle. Who here has always been a libertarian? Okay, so I've seen, so one, two, three, four people out of, did I count you two? Yes. Okay, four people out of well over a dozen, yeah, 30, 20, 30 people here, okay? Remember what you used to think about stuff, and then wonder what you would have liked to have heard when you were trying to come into this, when you are now the person welcoming we're not welcoming people <laughs> that are coming into the movement. People that are asking things like, what about the roads? Yes, there are still people who are concerned about what will happen because for their entire lives, they've been told that if they are not taxed up to here, that the roads will disappear. That they won't have roads because they've been told taxes equal roads. It is conditioning that has taught them that taxes equal schools, taxes equal roads, Taxes are the prices that we pay to have a civilized society, and yes, the majority of people unironically think that. So stop beating them up for it, because it makes us look weird, not them. So here are the filters that I use when I when when I encourage and I encourage you to use when you are talking slash debating slash welcoming slash whatever you want to call it people into libertarianism or even just talking about politics in general or really just talking about anything in general, especially online. Number one. Pretend that the person that you are talking to is someone you actually care about. Like someone who's very close to you, who you just disagree with. We all have someone in our lives, an aunt, an uncle, a, a spouse, a parent, a whatever, someone that we care about who just we disagree with completely. And when we have those conversations with them, we typically, not always, but typically, tend to be nice to them even though we disagree with them on those things. Even if we have heated debates with them, we don't wish them to be dead or something like that, right? Okay. Yes. You wouldn't say it to Declan. Don't say it. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. <laughs> Pretend you're talking to Declan. Yes. Declan has asked you what about the roads. What do you want to say to Declan? <laughs> Another fill. That's actually better. Pretend you're talking to a little child. Um, the next one is pretend that everyone you care about and everyone that you know is watching everything that you're saying because if you're online, that's probably true. If you're on social media, especially if you're on a public post, your friends and the person who you're speaking with's friends see it in their news feed because it keeps popping up because of all the replies to the comments, right? So now thousands of people are watching what you are seeing. People you know, people you don't know. You could be the difference between someone saying, Hey, wow, that sounds terrible. I never want to talk to a libertarian ever again. Or them looking at that and saying, wow, this person seems perfectly reasonable. These ideas sound good. This other person seems pretty upset and emotional and, and name calling. But, but, this, but this libertarian one, they're responding pretty well to that. I better look into that. I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me and said that it was because of something that they saw someone say to someone else that made them look into libertarian. Yep. Uh, first okay, I get that in my yeah. inbox constantly because we ask, what, what brought you into libertarianism? Yeah. At least a quarter of the time, it was someone that said, I saw people arguing about politics and the libertarian sounded the most reasonable, so I looked more into it. Probably at least uh, 20 to 25% of the time. So be aware of that. And then the final filter is again, remember what you imagine you're talking to yourself back when you were a dirty bootlicking statist <laughs> that you know that you know and, 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 and just 
consider what you would have liked to have heard in that time. Because there's a good chance you didn't hear the best things, and yet you're still here. And most people aren't going to take that level of abuse. So let's try to be kind to people. Let's meet them where they are. Let's recognize that a lot of people are really worried about things that we know are a bunch of garbage, but they've been conditioned just like we are, and it helps to bring them in. That is one of the most powerful things that you can do. And again, you don't know how many hundreds or at times thousands of people are watching literally every word that you are taking. So just let's do that. And thank you all for your help in this. And like I said, let's work our best to win this thing. Not just for me, not just for Kevin, but for libertarians across this country. Because you're in Ohio, you're voting in Ohio, but when you're talking about libertarianism to people online, you're talking to everyone across this, actually across the whole planet. So let's be good ambassadors for libertarianism. Let's win this thing. Let's get as much victory as we can in this election cycle. Thank yeah. you guys. For Yeah, I see, I see uh, yes. Uh, uh, where are the, uh, I have uh, silver and gold Sharpies. Gold. You want gold? Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> What's your name, man? Uh, Steve. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got it like a Super Nintendo Super Blaster. I love Super Scope. <laughs> yep. I love so it. This had a bump stock on it, and then uh, when Trump uh, banned them, I did the uh, the Super Scope Cerakote uh, and put the uh, stock on it because it did look more like a Super Scope. <laughs> Sure. Can I get a uh, FBATF on there? <laughs> um, can you do it like right from here? There we go. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here you go. Okay, you're, 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 uh, you're, can I get a picture of your um, sign? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like VIP. No, in, people like, that bought that VIP. Package. Oh. I didn't even know there was I don't, I don't know how that works. I'm not on the side of it. Oh, no. Uh, you want me to ask you something? Yeah. Uh, uh, people bought, we sold out of VIP package.